hello and welcome back Squirrel Nation. I hope you're all doing outstanding today. Um, we are going to dive into a match. Today's video will be live commentary and also it's going to be a little unique because I'm actually streaming while I make this video. This is the first video I'm doing this way. Um, so there at some point if you see me or hear me reading some chat or responding to somebody then that's probably why. Wow. Okay. So everybody got Tuskers. Um, I was thinking of locking for Tusker, but the fact that everybody got Tuskers kind of makes me uh, not want to do that. So we'll we'll just go into round two and see what we can get. And actually here, I will... I want the Goblin because Tusker is so contested and there's only two people going. Also, I got a Ripper, which is a really nice Goblin. So if I get the Ripper, um, Soul Breaker and Sky Breaker, then that, that's a pretty pretty solid uh, round four to go, go into round four against the other players. Um, it won't always win, but it, it's, it's reliable. Especially if you don't get uh, any two stars. It, I would say it's probably the best thing you can put on the board. So we will go that way. Okay, nice, another Ripper. I can, I can go with that. And probably grab the Witcher. I could set up for Knights or I could set up for Feather. Let's see. So if, if a bunch of people go Warriors, I don't really want to go Knights. Um, but if Knights are uncontested, then I could go to Knights because, yeah, then I can get the three stars. But I, if, let's say, there's two Glacier Knight players, I don't want to go into Glacier Knights against a lobby full of Warriors. It's just very, very likely for me not to do well. And... There we go. Items. Not too lucky, but not unlucky. I'm happy with some armor, especially if I can get a two-star uh, ripper. And, hmm, okay, well, that actually does open up glacier-type stuff quite well. And honestly, I think I'll use that. Just because Soul, Reap, um, Soul Breaker doesn't help me much where he's at because he's not giving me mech. Or actually, no, you know what? Let's let's do what I was saying. We'll 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 go with the goblin synergy. Um to start it off. Oh, spirits. Ugh. <laughs> so so this is probably not gonna go well, but you know, we, we, we fought the spirit player, so that's that's probably just what we can expect. Uh right now I'm deciding should I get rid of anything? I was thinking of picking up the Warriors, but I think the fact that I decided to start Goblins it get, goes against that. And honestly, I killed two things. I'm really happy with that. I just fought a Spirit team with a two-star Stone Spirit, and uh, we killed two of the heroes. That's I. That's a win in my book. So, okay, we have a Mage. Um, we got probably towards some Hunters. Yeah, and see just so many Warriors. So it looks like right now, if I'm making really early predictions, we're probably going to have uh, one Feather player and uh, at least one Mage player. So I will set up for those. We're just going to grab stuff to open up our options. Um, I may actually Glacier Knight. And people have been asking me about low rolling, so I may turn this video into a low rolling... Uh, I don't know, a low roll guide for knights. So traditionally, a lot of people low roll goblins, um, or that was that's the only build that I know that people re-rolled, um, or a lot of people would do it, like it was a, a meta strategy, I guess. Um, but actually, I saw a video from Shredded Puzzle, uh, and I'll try to, if I remember, I'll link his channel in the description. But he actually uses the low roll for Glacier Knights now, now that you have the Fortune Teller, because when your Fortune Teller, if you think about Glacier Knights, you can run it and the carries end up being Light Blade Knight and Hell Knight. And both of those are um, two cost units. So that's why it can work. And honestly, if I'm gonna do this, I need to commit to it soon. I'm just making sure there's no Knight competition. The worst thing that could happen to me is Knight and Glacier competition. Okay, so there isn't competition, so what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to actually empty fort here. And that's why we grab the fortune teller and empty it out except for my knight and my fortune teller. And then we're going to econ up as quickly as possible to 50 gold. 
and then I'm going to reroll at level five. Okay, so when you do a low roll strategy, this is the key, and your carries have to be one and two cost units because you're gonna reroll heavily at level five, and the reason for that is if you see level five, you have a 35% chance to get two cost and a 40% chance to get one cost, right? And then, but your chance to get uh, three costs is actually lower than it normally is, and it's not quite 30%. So that's why um, low roll strategies only work, or they're only, they're optimal, is what I should say. They're only optimal against team comps, or they're only optimal for team comps with one and two cost carries. Okay, anyways, hopefully I've explained that enough for all of you to understand. And, so so then it becomes you want to reroll as much as possible when you're level five okay so i can hit 50 gold um depending on how many things i pick up along the way i can hit it around round 12 13 okay and then from then on i can reroll in the game if you never buy experience you will automatically hit level six at uh at the at round 16. <clears throat> so so basically, you're re-rolling, you get to 50 gold, and then you re-roll as much as you can to round 16, and hopefully you've hit one of your carries to three star, okay? Because another thing is, keep in mind, a lot of players will, by round 16 is when they're going to hit level 7. So you're only going to be hitting level, just hitting level 6 that when they're hitting level 7. So you're going to be behind in terms of your uh, quantity, right? Everybody else is going to have more pieces on the board than you. So that's why if you don't hit three costs, uh, you're going to be really, really, really weak. So anyways, that's that that's the risk in it. But it can pay off really, really well <clears throat> in games like this, where if you notice, nobody's contesting Glacier stuff and nobody's contesting Knights. Um, warning, Glacier Knights have become a lot more popular. I highly discourage people from trying this if there's other knight players in your lobby because the problem is you need to get three stars so if there's other knight players in your lobby your probability of getting three stars when you're competing with one or two other players is really really low okay so still lose streaking away <clears throat> and you can do this strategy lose streaking but you could also do it by putting pieces on the board and trying um so J just keep that in mind. In this case, I have the fortune teller and I'm just going the, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just going the lose streaking, like empty fort type of strategy. So we can start to distribute items as long as we're waiting. So after this round, we will fight the golems and then we will try a little more. Um, I'm not gonna get the econ gold anyway, so I'm just gonna pick up some, grab these things and Unfortunately, we didn't even pick up other knights along the way, but we did get a two-star Hell Knight already, so that's good. <clears throat> and let's see. Okay, a mage and a bunch of warriors. Okay, so two beast warriors, the spirit, a mage. A glacier does do well against mages, so... And the mage will do well against the warriors, hopefully. So there we go. Okay, now we can sell these things that I don't want. Um... Okay, let's get on what we think can kill these and econ up. There we go. Okay, that's good. So, um, I think we can probably, actually, I want him to take aggro so he alts and just to tank. Basically, I'm just using fortune teller as a to buy me time. So he'll take initial aggro. Yep. He'll alt and then tank. Perfect. Beautiful. So see now he's just tanking two of the minions while we kill the other one. Um, so that's why that formation. And then we should make it through this round. And this is beautiful. Um, yeah, it's looking good. So, okay, nice. And those items, you can put a magic crystal on, and actually, wait, let me, okay, there we go. Rank those up. So from here, I can continue to lose streak, or I can start to try to try to kind of put my best foot forward, so to say. So I don't want to win yet, but I don't want to lose heavily. So I am going to put pieces in. And if you notice, see, everybody is level six except one other player, this player who's in fourth place. Um, and actually, I might beat them. That's risky. I'm, I'm not going to take the risk. It's just not worth it. 
so I'll remove him. But anyways, what I was saying about mana items is you can combine um, into Orb of Regen and put it on your Hell Knight because then if you get an Axe of Fury, your Hell Knight has that. The other person, uh, the other two people that I've started to like to put mana items on for uh, Glacier Knights is my Soul Reaper and my Desperate Doctor. So th those are, to me, those are the options you would want to go with. Um, and unfortunately, we, di we didn't fight the person, but we do keep our streak. And then maybe, hopefully that person goes to six or powers up a little bit. And then I would feel more comfortable putting stuff in. Okay, there we go. Oh, no, actually, I already have two star. And so the only things I'm targeting for three star are my, um, are my core pieces. So my knights and my glacier. And the things, the only things I'm targeting to three star are my light blade knight and my hell knight. So there's that. And orb of refresh on for this team comp is, eh, it, it, it's not that great. I mean, the piece that you can probably put it on best is desperate doctor. So in this case, I'm probably not actually going to combine into that. I'm probably going to combine to the um, pulse staff just for that extra burst damage. And can we get a kill? Nope. No kill. Oh well. But this is where the priest can help since he is part of this synergy. So anyways, um, so like we were saying, so round 13, I'm now above 50 gold and I can start just rerolling every round. And this was slow because I was buying stuff along the way. So just keep that in mind. Um, you can hit it a lot earlier than I hit it in this game. And like I said, um, the the one cost you don't need to go super high. And oh, nope, we're... And... I'm trying to decide if I... Okay, everybody went to six, so I can put... I can just put in a str my strongest team, and I should be fine. Um, but anyway, so... As you notice, our Lightblade and Hell Knight are starting to make the uh, three-star journey. So yeah, let's, we just basically go from here. And like I was saying, so round 13, we're 50 gold. And if you notice, our experience is four out of five. So after round 13, we'll be at five, round 14, six, round uh, 15, seven, and then round 16, like I said, you will, um, you'll level. So every round at, from now on, I can reroll a uh, bare minimum. I can reroll is uh, six times. So, well, really five times. So I'm going to be rerolling each round five times, and we just hope that we hit our Light Blade Knight, hope that we hit our um, Hell Knight. And nope, don't need that. Yep, there we go. And yep, and our Desperate Doctor, nice. And nope, and we'll stop at the two. Okay, so now I could also put in, so I do have my four Glacier now, and um, we are starting to get our Light Blade Knight there. The only... The only early game piece that I'm missing right now is my um, uh, Evil Knight. And yeah, so that is all. And here we go. And let's see, we can kind of scout around. I can just, mainly I'm just scouting at this point just to make sure nobody's picking up anything I need. Um, Soul Reaper and Berserker are things that I'll grab later on. But the cool thing about this strategy is you don't you don't really need a Berserker. Um, as long as you can get your Light Blade and your Hell Knight to three star, your Berserker becomes more of a um, it's a luxury. If I get a two star Berserker, good. If I don't, you know, it's okay. I I, I can survive. Um, I'll grab it for now. Do -do -do -do. There we go. We already got that. We're re-rolling, re-rolling. Oh no! Oh man! I just ugh, ugh, I misclicked. Um, fat fingers fail. There we go. Okay. So we got that wolves. Let's reposition. And yeah, I think we're happy with this and I want to, oh, oh, fat finger fail. And now I cost myself one more gold. Oh, well, that's unfortunately how it goes. Okay. So I did pass the uh, Evil Knight, that, that was just me having fat fingers, but our Light Blade, we have two two stars, so we are getting close, and hopefully we can hit our next Desperate Doctor. And yeah, so anyways, nice armor item, beautiful. By the way, I stack items, stack your defense onto your Hell Knight because he you want him to hit three star and he'll be your main tank, plus he's your second damage carry, so definitely stack him up with good stuff. 
um, and then it's stack your attack items, same, same logic, stack your attack items onto your Light Blade Knight. There we go, good, the game makes up for my poor play. There we go. Okay, so here, um, it's, I'll, I'll just wait to put him in. Um, he will give me four knights, but it doesn't really matter all that much. Um, yeah, and let's look around. So a lot of people, probably half the teams I would say still, half the teams still do pretty pretty well against us. So um, that is something else to keep in mind. So we have lots of armor. I'll put that one there. And who else do I want? Probably my uh, Frost Knight. That would be my other chance. Frost Knight is another piece that you can you can get to three stars too um, if if you get lucky. Just because if you're low rolling, right, you do have that that chance. Okay. So anyways, like we said, I could have kept re rolling to try to really force getting my Light Blade Knight and getting my Hell Knight, but in this case, I'm I'm just going to kind of stick with it as as is. And the reason is I want to get to level seven so then I can get in my, my early game synergy, which is going to be uh, four knights with four glacier, okay? So right now you can see I'm three knights with four glacier, so I need level seven and then I can put in my evil knight um, and that's that. So that, and that's important because remember, most people are hitting level seven now, yeah. So see, and there's even the, the first person is hitting level eight, so everybody except me in last place are already to level seven. So that's what I'm saying. Um, but that's where my synergy and my star power comes through, right? And we are fighting second place right now. And you can see we're doing pretty solid. Um, and I didn't even hit a three star. So this isn't optimal, right? A lot of times if you do, not a lot of times, but probably I would say half the time if you do this strategy and you're in a, if you're not contested, then you can probably hit your three stars. Um, so just keep that in mind. And honestly, my health is getting to the risky level. So here, I just need to spend to get to level seven um, and get in my um, get in my evil knight. So we are gonna do that and boom. And then formation wise, probably something like this. I like, and okay. So, and actually I better, I better use my items. Um, I, I mean, I want to save it for my Soul Reaper, but in this case, I, I do need to start winning because my health is getting too low, so I can't be too, too greedy. So we will go with that. And yeah, hopefully we can hit our Hell Knight, hit our Evil Knight here soon. Um, I'm not YOLO roll territory, but we are, we're, we're, we're getting into YOLO roll territory. If I have one bad loss or maybe two not bad losses, we are probably YOLO rolling. So like that person wrecked us. So that is not good. Let's see what their formation is and see if we can counter it at all. Okay. So, hurry up game, uh, divinities. Okay, they're gonna be right at my right. Um, and I'm gonna go to level at eight and then we're gonna YOLO roll from there. So they're gonna be on my right. I would think that would help me because my team should spread around their divinities. So I don't know. And I guess we'll we'll try to put our defector on the edge just so he gets his um, hex off. I always call it polymorph. Too much World of Warcraft from back in the day. And there we go. We are fighting. Who is this? What place is this? Okay, this is sixth place. So, but they're kind of low. They might have put a lot in. Yeah, it looks like we're doing okay. Hopefully we can win. That would be nice that, to get a win streak. That would definitely help the cause. Um, and yeah, ooh, the problem is pandas. Yeah, panda was on our uh, light blade night, which kind of sucks, but there we go. Kill the panda. Nice. Okay, cool. So we make it through. That's good. We're, I think we're on a win streak now. Oh no, that was only two. Boo. Okay. So anyways, um, into leveling, round 21, we go to level eight like normal. And then from there, I probably do YOLO roll to be on, eh. Actually, maybe not. I may not YOLO roll because, yeah, I'm still, I'm still pretty far away from getting my Light Blade and Hell Knight. And I don't know, we'll, we'll see. If I'm carrying a win streak, I may YOLO roll. 
And I'm looking at everybody else's stars. So third, the person we just beat has all two stars, um, but they're probably going towards three stars soon. Um, second place is pretty scary. First place, scary-ish, but he's going to have a weird transition because he needs to get rid of his evil knight. Um, and he's contesting me for Soul Reaper for sure, so that's another thing I need to keep in mind. Um, but anyways, I think we're just going to go with this for now. And I will put in... I think Tanky is more my issue at this point. So we will put that in over... We'll put the Hell Knight in. Sorry, I should use their names. The Hell Knight in over the um, Light Blade Knight. And... Yeah, I think we carry on. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna kind of judge my team's power off this, but I, I think we're still doing pretty pretty reasonable because our synergies are good. Um, we should do good against this Divinity player. Um, I would expect to do well. And my Fortune Teller... My Fortune Teller's ults have not been great. I'm gonna, I'm, I need to switch his position. Um, we should have done better against that team comp, but the Fortune Teller was definitely not uh, being, a, being nice that round. So now that we lost, I'm not going to YOLO roll. I am actually just going to straight up wait at 50. If I lose one more round, then I'm just going to have to YOLO roll. Um, and yeah, hopefully we can hit our... Um, I'm tempted to put... No, hmm, I am tempted to put that in, honestly. Early legendaries like this are... I would not sleep on them. They can be quite... Uh, beneficial and actually I'm gonna go probably like this I want my um, I, I want my fortune teller on the edge because he he was taking damage too slowly so by the time he ulted people are dead so see now he's alting early um, and actually tanking through unfortunately now he ulted too early but uh, it's better and yeah the helicopter will help me against these feather too so that's nice and this person is sixth place so yeah hopefully i'm beating them and we are what about from their point of view yep from their point of view they're going down so that's good and you can see everybody's health is kind of getting low so i do think it's probably time for me to roll down a little heavier and reaper soul reaper is definitely contested by multiple teams also which is unfortunate for me but that's how it goes there we go, that we can combine, nope. And, okay, that's nice. There we go, okay, that's good upgrade. One more, nope, okay. So we'll sit there and, yeah, we're gonna sit there at 30. So, 25 minion. I can probably hang on this comp until the minion, but after that, I think people are going to... A lot of this lobby is going to be eliminated by round 30, or I would be very surprised if they aren't. So yeah, the Fortune Teller ult's much better there. Um, they're they're dodging actual critical damage instead of, instead of nothing. So, nice. Kill her quickly. Oh no, my, my Night Shield's just dropped. Okay, thank God she targeted the Frost Knight. Good, okay. And that person is... What place are they? Okay, they're below me also. So honestly, the uh, matchmaking is helping me out. RNG in terms of heroes is kind of rough for me, but my RNG in terms of who I'm fighting are good. So as you can see, I'm still uncontested uh, for knights, which isn't really surprising. If you're not contested early, it's not really going to change generally. So that egg I will use on Hell Knight or Lightblade Knight if I need to, because just getting them to three star is really, really important because they are my damage carries. So I'm going to risk it on this round. And what I mean by risk it is if I win, I'll be on a win streak into the minion round. Um, no matter what, I shouldn't die, knock on wood. Um, so so it's just the little risk for a little bit extra econ because I do plan to, and see that's, that is a perfect fortune teller ult, right? Like it was right before my helicopter was gonna die. So then he did huge tanking with a fortune teller ult and he gets his ultimate off and he wouldn't have otherwise. So that was beautiful. We are going to lose, but hopefully I kill the Razor Claw, kill the Razor Claw, kill the Razor Claw. DD, alt, alt, yes. Yes, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so, wow, another, that's that's good, okay. That that will help out. And, okay, so now into minions. So I'm not going to roll here. I'm just going to econ up. And, ooh, nice. Okay, well, I can re-roll down 
like two times just because I can buy stuff that I need. Actually, I'll stop there because if I hit a Soul Reaper, I want to buy it and that would drop me below 30 gold, which I don't want to do. Mm -hmm. So we grab that. And so what's going to happen from here is these minions and then I am going to use the egg on Lightblade if I have to, but hopefully I can grab the Hell Knight. Um, Soul Reaper is would be nice, but I I can live without it um, at this point just because I, I did hit the helicopter luckily. So that 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 is something nice. And the helicopter helps me against the warrior teams that we have. Uh, the Six Assassin, Glacier Knights does well against Six Assassin because of the fortune teller tankiness. And we do have two mage teams in though now. Okay, so anyways, we are re-rolling. Boo, boo, boo. And nope. Okay, yes. Nope. Wow, seriously? Okay, well, you get it. I could have saved for Berserker, but yeah, no. A, a three-star Light Blade really is my carry. And yep, there I should have combined that item before this fight, but hey. Limited amount of time and focus. Okay. So the Divinity, like I said, we should do good. I could even switch to the same side of the map as the Divinity, so we just attack them quicker, which I'm... Oh, but the, I can't... Unfortunately, there's a Six Assassin. If there wasn't a Six Assassin, I could actually just advance out of the corner, which would help me a lot against the um, Divinity players, but... Or the Mage players, nice. Oh, please, one more. Um, here we go. Oof. Ah! Uh, one more roll. Okay. Here... Here are hard choices, to be honest. Oh, man. These... Okay, so I can switch Berserker for Defector, but honestly, the the Hex is kind of useful against the enemies, to be honest. And a one-star Berserker is just going to die to the enemy alting. So see, like, I Hexed the Tortola, or the Flame Wizard. Okay, but normally it would be Tortola, but anyways. So... Uh, though those those things matter and you can see that the helicopter is leading me in damage so i don't really want to switch those out for one star units um and we are at that point of the game where i'm just kind of fighting to stay alive so me yeah me okay that makes that that makes things different so okay sorry sorry my my friend you were good to me but now i will i will switch it out and let's see if I can... No. Okay. Um, do I want Berserker in over? Probably. Okay. So... Oh. The Defector for the Berserker is a really hard choice at this point, to be honest. A one-star Berserker is not as useful as you would think. Um, whereas the Defector... You know, somebody's Hex, so if they're Hex, they're not doing damage to me. So I honestly think I probably should have just stuck with the Defector, which we'll try to remedy after this. And, oh, thank God. And you can see the Lightblade Knight is your carry, right? So that's that's why low rolling for Knights works. Like, what you're watching right now is exactly why low rolling for Knights works. Because it allows you to get your Lightblade and your Hell Knight. If I could get a Hell Knight to 3-star, I can probably get top 3. Um, otherwise it's, it's going to be rough and this is going to be really close. Oh man. Woo. Oh baby. Come on. Oh yes. Okay. Nice. So one more round and then minions. Um, trying to think, uh, I have no chance of leveling. I would need 30 gold. So that's not happening. Um, and I am going to make the switch back to my defector, to be honest. It just, that, that was feeling a lot better. Um, wow, but I feel so bad. The helicopter is so nice, but I, I mean, every little bit of gold matters to me and I can't, I, yeah, I can't justify putting it in the, a three-star light blade knight with these items just benefits so much from the Agaris synergy for putting that damage out. And yeah, the, you can see how well the fortune teller does against the assassin teams. Fortune teller is what makes glacier knights good against, uh, six assassins. 
without that, like you can see, without that, I would have probably just got absolutely destroyed. I'm still, looks like I'm gonna lose, but it would have been way, way worse of a loss. Um, and that person just has way higher quality than me, to be honest. Yeah, in their second place, they have what, like, through two, two of the three stars, everything else at, uh, two, three stars and everything else at two stars, so yeah. So, uh, minion, I'm tempted to give up on my Frost Knight for that one extra gold, but, eh. Nah, we'll, we'll go with it. So, hard choices will come. I'll honestly sell my Berserker to keep rolling for my uh, Hell Knight. I think we're into YOLO territory because the majority of these people are probably going to start hitting level 9, and I don't... I may, I, I beat the, may, the Divinity barely, like we just saw, so any upgrade and items from him is going to wreck us. Um, so yep, we're not hitting stuff, which means, yes, these items are getting used. Oh, there we go. And there we go. And yep, YOLO. Okay, good, good. Okay, that's nice. So one three star. Hit. Oh, okay. Nope. So we at least got one three star uh, regen. I'll give here and here. If I get a mana crystal, we could try to attempt to get Axe of Fury when somebody dies. But honestly, we're probably the next one out. I don't know. We'll see if we can hold on. The problem is a lot of people have really high quality, like a lot of three stars. Like a beast warrior with this many three stars is just so scary. Um, and can we get a kill? I think we're going to be out here. I need to kill two things and it does not happen. So unfortunately we do go out fifth place, but um, yeah, that's just kind of the gamble of the strategy. So you saw is, the key there is nobody was going knights. We went into it, we low rolled. Um, one thing I could have thought about doing differently is I could have rolled below 50 when we were level five. So round uh, 15, I could, have, I could have kept rolling below 50 to try to get my three star light blade and hell knight at that point. But at a certain point, you just have to RNG up. And I'll tell you how to know you did everything you could do. If you look at my economy, I had 246 gold in that game, okay? And if you look at everybody else in this game, there's only two other people who had higher gold than me. So the 281 and 248, right? So I, I was basically up there with gold. And what does that mean? That means that I gave myself the most amount of rerolls possible, right? Like I rerolled as much as I possibly could to try to hit those key units, I just didn't get lucky. And what I mean by I didn't get lucky is if you look at the first place, right, uh, Vinxer, Vinxer only had two more gold than me in the entire game, right? So he only had, he accumulated two more gold than me, but look, he hit a three-star Tusker, a three-star Swordsman, a three-star Razor Claw, right? And he even had the gold to go all the way up to level nine, okay? So on two gold, so two gold difference, he went to level nine and he managed to hit three, three, three stars right um that that's just the rng of it but so so when you're trying strategies the point i'm trying to make to you is look at your economy um some games if if my economy was garbage if if i was this person with 184 gold i then it's it's not it's not luck that is against me it's just i poor, i played poorly i managed my economy poorly but in that game i mean i rerolled as much as possible if i would have hit the three stars right? I mean, it would have looked a lot better. So that, that's just how it goes. But anyways, hope you all enjoyed today's video. Take care. And as always, I will talk to you tomorrow.